everyone Sophia here for my great challenger welcome back to my channel this is a different type of video this is actually a requested video um, Juanita sent me a message and said I'm sending you something and I want you to open it on video because I want to see your reaction I have no idea what it is it came in two boxes uh, they're actually really big and really heavy and they are numbered one of two and two of two so obviously I'm gonna start with the first box uh, just for background Juanita is the lady who sends me Christmas gifts every year and she does that beautiful wrapping where everything is wrapped in scrapbooking paper with ribbons with little um, uh, charms and she puts uh, flowers all sorts of things and of course no one is under any obligation to send me anything I just want to you know put that out there but she's been unbelievably generous and thoughtful towards me and my family over the years and um, so I, I don't know what to say other than thank you I'm so grateful to have a community of people who support me and my channel and my family the way you do I have no idea what's in it so I'm sure you're all excited uh, this is happy mail from Juanita Juanita, um, I'm going to open the first box. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm excited. I have no idea. What did you do now? It says fragile. So if it says fragile, I have to believe that it's glass or maybe pottery related. Um, ceramic. I don't know. We'll see. And she did ask me <laughs> to do a video. So I guess she expects that I'm going to be really surprised or happy with this. So let's see. We got a little uh, card here. I'm going, do I need to read it now? Maybe I shouldn't, right? Because this is going to give me a clue. I hope this note finds you and your family healthy and happy. It's a very long story, but basically I've come across this things I thought you'd like and put it in your Etsy shop. Not very good at wrapping. That's not true. Uh, I hope they will be in one piece when you receive them. Um, okay, so let's see what's in it. So this is a challenge already because she said put them in your Etsy shop, whatever it is. And I'm telling you right now, if I like it, I'm keeping it okay, on each side. Oh my, there's a lot of different pieces. Are you on the edge of your seats? I know I am. This is like one of those things where you just keep on opening and opening. What is this? Oh, cute! Look at this thing. It's a little egg cup that's a pelican. I like this. Made in England. It's beautiful ceramic. Okay. Are you supposed to see my face? Hold on. When it, I like this. I like it so far. Okay, what do we have here? She makes me feel so special. It's Christmas every time I open something from her. What is this? Oh! <laughs> it's one of the little monk to go with Elizabeth's cookie jar, which is downstairs. West Germany, S183. Oh, it's cute. Look, it's a uh, little mustard thing. Oh, I'm keeping him. Oh, he is adorable. He comes with a spoon. Scott, did you see that? A little mustard guy. A little monk. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh, Juanita, you're so thoughtful. Oh, I love it. Yes, I'm probably wondering, like, how long am I going to stay here watching this? The whole video, that's what you're going to do because Juanita deserves it. She finds things and she sends them to me. Oh, it's the matching salt and pepper shakers. Oh, I am so keeping this, Juanita. I am not selling it. Something's in it. It's probably the old, um, oh, West Germany. Oops, look at this. Look at this, look at this little guy. That's the uh, pepper. 
or they are so going to be on my table. So I guess you got me the set. There's two boxes. This video is going to be very long. <gasps> oh, that's cute. This is West Germany again. This is a little uh, cat figurine. Look at the little whiskers. One of them is separated. Hold on. I gotta put you back right where you belong. Here you go. Uh, so she said some of it I gotta sell, and some of it I'm gonna keep. Okay. What do we have here? I love vintage stuff. You know, I really do. Um, there's something about it. It's well made. It's cute. It has history. What are these? This looks familiar. Pottery plates. It's nice glaze. Signed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, so I have that. So what did you do? Um, you, you went thrifting and you figured I'm going to put all my uh, my thrift in a box and send it to Sophia. Which is good because I haven't done any thrifting in a while. And pretty much everything I put on Etsy last sold except three items. So three out of twelve didn't sell. Oh, I think this is the salt. Oh. So here's the salt. Oh, this is cute. Now, do they look... Oh, the pepper is small and the salt is bigger. You see that? Oh, they're so cute. They're going to stay here on my table. When I have guests, we will be using them um, as a set. Now, what's this? Oh my god. Oh, I always wanted one. Oh. oh, this is so going upstairs. Oh, she's got the eyelashes going on. Look at this. This is called a head vase. Um, they were very popular in the 50s. Um, there's a lot. Oh, she's glorious look at her and this one is by Rubens Japan Rubens originals and it's made in Japan so you can use it as a planter or as a vase obviously I'm going to use her as a planter upstairs look at that scar it's not Lucille Ball is it no it's not Lucille they did have one with Lucille but there's so many of them I love it Oh, I love her. She's beautiful. Women. Ladies, we had so much class back then. We need to go back to that. Enough of the leggings already, okay? That alone makes me really happy. I'm keeping it. This is not for sale. I am keeping it. Oh, she's so pretty. Ooh. This is a royal cup and hanging plate. They do sell well. It looks like it's a, uh, um, and it's a cup. It's beautiful. Hey, does it look art deco to you? Uh, that's not enough. Not enough? I don't know. It's not enough uh, design. Not enough design? For me to be convinced it is, but it might be. Might be. I like it. Okay, what do we have here? And you know there's another box. You know, Juanita, I think what you've been doing is that every time you went to the uh, um, shop, you picked something and then you waited to have enough to send over. I don't know what to say. Oh. Okay, so this is the top of something. God, I love vintage stuff. This is pretty heavy. What are we looking at here? I hope this is not boring for you guys. Oh, I think that's the teapot. 
She's heavy. It is a cheap Ooh. Bedford. Okay. What a beautiful teapot. Would you look at this? Oh, she's beautiful. Scott, look at this teapot. That might be Art Deco. That is totally Art Deco, right? It's going in my bedroom. I'm going to drink my tea on this. I have a little warmer. I don't know if I could use it, but... Oh, Juanita, I'm so spoiled. What do I say? What do I say? What's this? The teapot is definitely our deco. Uh, this is the bud vase that goes with this. Oh, that's cute. Look, it's slanted. So you can use it as a little planter. That's probably what it is. For a uh, air plant or a... Um, Succulent. Okay. There's more. Oh. Ooh. That's the one that goes with that C scan. Still not Art Deco? Um, I don't know. Nah, I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. It's very pretty. Very pretty. I, what am I supposed to sell here? I don't want to sell anything. I don't want to sell anything. Okay, we're still in box number one. That head vase. Huh. Oh, ooh. Spode Mayflower pattern. Look how delicate. This is old Spode too. Joe Plant Spode. Mmm. Oh, that's pretty. You know, you picked a whole bunch of stuff that I would have picked myself. I want you to know that. I want to be careful because there seems to be more in the bottom of the box. And again, we're still in box number one. What is this? Oh, how delicate. So this looks like Bavaria to me. It looks... Uh, I have to look it up, EW. It's hand painted. It's a beautiful little trinket uh, dish. It's really pretty. I, I, I doubt you're gonna see any of this stuff on Etsy, I'm just saying. Now what do we have here? I hope this is not boring for you guys, okay? Juanita wanted me to put it on video, so... Oh! Oh! I just saw one of those at the store the other day and I almost picked it. Where's the rest of it? It's a... Uh, um, you'll see. It's a, it's a container. Um, it's beautiful. Oh, that's going in my bathroom. Okay, here we go, we got more. Oh. Look. So these, um, I'm sure the, this is a, a demi tasse, and these right here were very popular in the 60s. They are a reproduction of uh, Fragonard, the uh, courtship. Um, and it says Tivoli Kobenhorn on it. Uh, so this is like a, a probably German or Austrian. Let's see. Ladies in the parlor back in the days would have those when they served um, espresso or tea. Look at this. I hope you can see it. It's really, really pretty. I love the little hoop thing here. So delicate. Oh. Okay, so this is the last one for this box. 
and then we're going to take a break because I'm overwhelmed. Okay, here we go. That's the bottom part. Um, California pottery. So it's basically like a bathroom uh, vanity type container and then you put your either jewelry or q-tips, cotton pads, um, samples, you know, whatever. Beautiful. And it says Silly Cali Cali Caviar? No. California, USA. It's very pretty. Okay, let's take a break. Um, and then we'll move on to box number two. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. This is everything. I love her. Oh my God, she's beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to wash her and put her on display. And this little guy here, definitely going to my bedroom upstairs. This is so Art Deco-ish. This is gorgeous. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like little birds on it. Here's the bottom. It says Bedford, right? Bedford. Oh. It's the perfect teacup for just one person. So beautiful. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so here's box number two, and she put a little note that says, uh, um, as always, Sophia, feel free to let go of anything you don't like or can't use in your shop. Um, I just thought this would be fun. Um, and then she's giving me and when I saw the Life magazine, I thought Sophia might like this. Okay, so there's a Life magazine there. Yes, I will like a Life magazine. <laughs> so some of it is going to go on the shop, but I can tell you some of it is definitely staying here. Um, I don't know what to say. I, I just, you know, I, just, I get a lot of letters and messages um, either on Facebook or, yeah, Instagram. Um, and then emails and letters from ladies who say that, you know, they watch my videos during a really tough time in their life and I help them through. Um, so I get it. A lot of people get really attached to YouTubers sometimes because we connect um, for various reasons with people. And it's not unusual for YouTubers to receive gifts. It's not. Um, but these kind of gifts are super thoughtful because you know exactly what I like. Oh, I recognize this. This is cool. Okay, so this obviously is going to be a um, saucer to go with it. This is lusterware. I don't know if you can see the luster on this. HH -H is numbered. Okay. You never know how you touch people, you know, never take anything for granted. And some of you, like Juanita, have been watching me since the very beginning. So I guess that after nine years, we almost, you know, connected to the point where we just, I don't know, it's almost like long distance friends, right? I think this is another one. The teacups, they're really pretty. I think they're from the 60s. Oh, this one is a different color. Ooh, so this one has a uh, black rim and this one has a uh, teal type uh, rim on it. Okay, what are these? cereal bowls and these were made by Sterilite. Not Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny? Cereal bowls. Cereal bowls. 
There's a joke somewhere. No. No? Yeah, they used to have Bugs Bunny cereal bowls and plates for kids. Oh. Back in the 70s. I didn't have those. We did. I had the ones that are in the uh, curio with the cows on it. Um, yeah, we didn't have a lot of cartoon when I grew up in the 70s in France, you know. <gasps> this is so cool. The cereal bowls. <laughs> well, you know that's not going anywhere, right? Okay, definitely keep on those. Oh, there's more. Oh, oh, I think this is uh, a Lefton um, cat from a series. And I think this is from the 40s. I've seen those before. It's really cute. You remember how I was talking about um, piano babies and all of this? These are heavy enough that you can use them like that, but there was a whole collection of baby cats. Oh, this is cute. If anybody, what is she reading? It doesn't say. I think this is left in. Okay. I'm keeping the camera on my face because she said she needed to see my face and my reaction, so. And you are a very good rapper. So far, nothing's broken. Oh. Oh. Look. Can you see them? Oh, they're so cute. So I guess the salt and pepper shakers. But where are the holes? Because they have the little holes underneath. I don't see holes. Oh, down the side. This is so clever. This is like the uh, New York thing. So one has the holes like this, so you go like that. And then the other one has the holes here, so you go this way. Oh, this is so cute. I'm keeping that. I gotta research all this stuff now. Okay. One more. There's more. There's more. Juanita, email me and let me know if it's okay for me to send you something, okay? Because uh, at this rate, I'm going to have to go free shopping for you, too. Ooh. Huh. So this looks like a, uh, a wine, uh, crude, whatever you call it. This is from Schumann. Schumann Cobalt. It's got a uh, gold accent. That is really pretty. I love chinoiserie and chintz um, as evidenced by the number of Asian lamps I have here. So I think I'm going to keep that. I'm going to do something with it on my landing now that I have that uh, cabinet in the corner. I like it. Okay. Okay, so it's Andrea Canary by Andrea. Oh. Oh, he's so going into my curio cabinet because I have the uh, blue jay and the uh, dove. Oh, I love this. This is bisque porcelain. It's in excellent condition. Now, here's a story for you. For those of you who are sticking around watching this, when I was a little girl, my grandmother had birds. She had canary. His name was Titi. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, and uh, we had the uh, Japanese um, nightingale. And they each were in separate um, cages. And we used to separate them one on either end of the house. And they would just call each other all day. The singing was amazing. Amazing. This is some gift, y'all. This is some gift. It just keeps coming. Unbelievable. I, I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. I'm so humbled and 
What's this? Ah, an American Eagle. The Abbey Collection. You know who's the uh, major American Eagle collector? Is Scott's father. He has so many of them. This one is really pretty. And I'm keeping it. This almost feels like Christmas, birthday, Mother's Day, all in one. Okay, looks like we got little saucers here. Edelstein Bavaria. This looks 70s. They hand painted. And then there's more. I think this goes with this. Would you look at this? How fancy is that? Did we actually use to drink tea like this or were they just for show? I don't know. It's the black one. Look at this. Imagine ladies in their parlor drinking tea with this. I think they were just for show. They're just too beautiful. You would have to have some very special guest to use those back in those days. Now, what is this? Ah, I know what that is. I know exactly what that is. That is for this. I gotta find names. Uh, my big monk cookie jar is downstairs. I think it's time to bring it back upstairs because now I can have these three with it. And it's almost like I'm starting a collection. I'm starting a collection, Scott, yeah. of the monks. <laughs> you hear him? Yeah. Listen, life is too short. Okay, seriously, have fun. Don't worry about what other people have to say. They're not the ones dusting the stuff. Is this a planter? Oh, perfect. Now that is perfect. I was looking for chinoiserie planter and it's octagonal. That is absolutely perfect. That I'm so keeping. It's going on that little corner desk cabinet that I put in the landing. I don't know if you saw that. And I'm going to put a plant in it. Oh, it's stunning. Would you look at this? Would you look at this? I almost shouldn't put anything in it, right? Just keep it like that as decor. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm putting it upstairs as soon as I'm done. Okay. A little shoe. It's cute. <laughs> the mini shoe. Gold plated. Is there two? Yes. So there's two. This is the kind of decor people had in the 60s. You know, ladies would put that on their dressers. What do you do with them? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Most decor is just to look at anyway. Okay, I think this is the last one. From Strasbourg, France. Du Gré d'Alsace. Oh, my mom's gonna want this one. Mom, if you watch, it's yours if you want it. I haven't, yeah, I haven't seen a piece of that in at least 40 years. And I think my mom has a bowl from the Gré d'Alsace. It's, uh, it's, um, it's the French equivalent of um, uh, Williamsburg pottery. It's uh, salt glaze. It's amazing. It's amazing. Scott, does this look Art Deco to you? Yeah. Totally Art Deco. Oh, it is glorious. I love it. 
Wow. Wow. Okay. I think we're done, except for the Life magazines. And guess what I'm going to be doing tonight? With my cup of tea. This is the Collector's Edition. Collector's Edition 50th Anniversary Celebrating Half a Century of American Favorite Picture Magazines. Oh, this is great. Woof. Deaf stuff. Linen Bean. I'm going to spend hours looking at that. Look at Barbara. Can you see her? <laughs> okay. All right. I'm running out of battery. And some of you are running out of patience. <laughs> um, Juanita, I, I don't know what to say. Um, I bet you want to know which one are my favorite, right? Okay. Le Gré d'Alsace. The Monks. I'm showing you the stuff I'm absolutely keeping. It's never going to go anywhere. Um, the Lady Vase, the Head Vase. The Teapot. There's so much to choose from. Um, of course, the um, Spice of Life. The Chinese Planter. And the Canary. And the little dog, salt and pepper shakers. Uh, these are my favorite. The rest I gotta decide if I'm gonna sell it or not. Um, I don't know. But let me tell you, um, I don't deserve this at all. One would have been perfect, none even better, but I don't deserve this. And again, for those of you who are watching, please do not feel obligated to send me stuff. Um, this made me very, very happy, obviously, because you know I love stuff and I love vintage, but I gotta tell you, this, you almost brought me to tears, because I, I haven't seen one of those in so long, so long. Now I gotta call mom and ask her where hers is. Um, I think she has, kind of like the Chinese plant, which has a plate like that. This is beautiful. Um, it's so thoughtful of you, Juanita, and I don't know... <laughs> You spend a lot of money on this stuff. Um, I don't deserve any of it. I really don't. But I, I guess you love me. And I love you too. <laughs> so um, the head lady and I are going to say uh, thank you and goodbye. And um, what is she even supposed to do? Is she going like, oh, I'm so beautiful. You are so beautiful. I love her. We got to figure out her name. Um, if you like me and you like stuff, you get it, okay? If you don't like stuff, this is a nightmare for you, and I understand, but I love it. I love to touch it, I love to look at it, I love to research it, I love to clean it, I love to display it. I love stuff. I know who I am, okay? That's not going to change. It's just not going to change. So, my first order of business is going to be to clean Mr. Canary here because of my grandma's TT. And I remember him vividly. Um, and he's going to go in a curio cabinet. Order of business number two is going to be clean the vase lady and bring her upstairs. And I'm going to spend the rest of the day doing that. Well, I got a quilt, but I'm going to spend a good time doing this. Juanita, thank you. Thank you so much um, for this. You made my day, probably my week and my month. <laughs> um, will I put some on Etsy? Probably not all of them. I just went through that, um, but it was um, it was thoughtful, and you know me too well. <laughs> That's a problem when you've been on YouTube for so long. People know you all too well. So I don't know what else to say. I'm I'm speechless. I am without speech, <laughs> like you would hear in Seinfeld. Okay. Thank you so much, Juanita. Um, so I did it. I did the video. I put myself on video. Uh, you saw my reaction. I hope you're not disappointed. I hope you get it, how happy I am. And um, this was enough. I don't cry. <laughs> this was enough. Boy, the memories. I haven't been to Strasbourg in, in... God, to be nine years old the last time I went to Strasbourg. Do you want to go to Strasbourg? Sure. How's the food? Uh, you like sausages and sauerkraut and uh, 
potatoes and beer. Oh, yeah, yeah, what's <laughs> Well, I'll go to Strasbourg. Um, that may be the next time I go to France. I may end up doing something like that. Go to Strasbourg just for you, Juanita, so we can go see Le Gré d'Alsace shops there, and I will buy something for you. Um, mark my word. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. For those of you who uh, um, spent the time looking at it, I hope you recognize some of the items that were at your grandmother's house or your parents' house or your great-grandmother's or some of them you still have in your house. Um, if you know any about those things, just comment down below because some of them I have a hard time. I'll find them eventually, but you know, um, if you recognize anything, just tell me down below. And that would be it. And this was the best happy mail ever, ever. And I am um, in awe at your generosity, Juanita. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you later, guys. Thank you for watching this. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And apparently, you're going to have to check out my uh, Etsy shop, Frenchie and Tubby, uh, for some of these items that she wants me to put up for sale. So I'll do that. And um, this is going to take me a while. But yeah. I'm going to play with my stuff now. Thank you guys. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.